Hey guys, it's me Matthew, of course, of course. And in this video, I'm playing RimWorld, and I'm also going to be chewing gum. And just for warning, this gum is tough, so it's going to be a little loud. And I don't know how much people really like the sound of gum chewing. So I'm sorry if this episode is ruined for you. But hopefully you'll still enjoy all the other ones. <laughs> hopefully. I keep wanting to move away from the microphone because I'm not used to this. I was going to be recording Apex Legends or Rainbow Six Siege. Both of them are down right now, just magically. So I'm playing RimWorld. So, what's everyone doing? Shield is smoothing out walls. Oh, a raid. Um. One dude with a knife. Hmm. Oh, there's rubber. I was wondering where he was. Okay, I still have plenty of components, so... Let's see if this guy actually gets to me or not. I need warm clothes as well. Um, well, I don't need warm clothes, but I should get warm clothes. Well, he's actually going to get here, and he's going to die to them. Or rubber is going to die to him. And he's dead. Rubber is pretty fucking hurt. Well, this is just fun. First time he gets here, and he only had a knife, and I still fucking ate shit. Oh, I'm not gonna put that there. I'll put a grave over here. Actually, wait, no. I don't need to do that. Where is he? Where's his body? not in the storage over here. It's not in that dump pile. It's not in this dump pile. It's not in the fridge. Did like a wild animal take it? I remember making a faraway dump pile. There's yaks over there. Those would be useful. I honestly don't know where that guy's body went. Oh, son of a bitch. If I'm missing something, let me know. <laughs> not like it matters, you're not even here. You can't tell me until the video's over. Okay, he died right there. He was definitely dead. Please tell me. Okay, it doesn't look like he was butchered. He was not put in this carcass pile. He 
Either there was some kind of glitch. And he got, like, teleported it into non-existence. I had a grave I didn't know about, and they plopped him in there. Or some wild animal just came by and snatched it. That or I'm going crazy. Or he just got up and fucking walked away. Okay, I must be blind. There's no way he... His body just disappeared or anything like that. His body had to have been put somewhere. Maybe behind a tree, and I just can't see it. Hmm. It's not that important, I'm just... So confused. Hopefully everyone makes a full recovery. A hearth tender in Pirates. New quest, a 23-year-old hearth tender named Basti is calling from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Raptor Man. He begs for safer if safety and offers to join you in Boreal Gulch. If you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail. The group of pirates is composed of a drifter, just a single drifter. Owen's my best um, fighter. I'm kind of. I want Owen to be safe first. How cold is it in there? Oh shit. Um. Okay, so we need to build a copy of the heater, and we also need a vent. I'm going to actually build the vent or the heater there. And let's build a copy of the vent right here. And I'm going to go to quests and accept. I wonder if the heal route will make it through winter. Okay, so. I can have someone researching more often. Another doctor. Someone to craft stones. Yeah, to shape stones. Finally. And that guy just has a mace. I'm gonna have Owen come over here. Basti should be able to run. Back up, Owen. Is he dead? Yep, he's full on dead. Okay. Now let's see where this body goes. Why is his light on, but no one else's light is on? There's no battery left. Some kind of glitch. Um, well, I don't have to worry about the heater, but I am out of wood. 
So let's make sure. He can be another cook as well. He can mine when he's not doing anything else. Um, crafter after that. Researcher mainly. And I'm going to have my workers, my colonists. Oh wait, I didn't see this fucking grave here. That's where he went. Okay, well. Well, it's official. I'm consuming too much power right now. I'm also going to need to build a heater over here as well, but uh, I can leave it off after I turn it on. And I can also designate power, or take away the designated power. I need more people hauling as well. Shouldn't be playing horseshoes, buddy. Did I never build? I never built a. Uh, let's see, a uh, chess table. Yeah, let's build a chess table right here. And you can work on it. Okay, beautiful. Oh, god damn it. Oh, and you're already fat as it is. Come on. You fucking pig. Okay, I need people to haul in all this shit. God damn it, Owen. Oh, whoops. Clicked out. Uh, that reminds me, I want to build a roof area. all the way outside of this so that they have room to walk around but I don't want to waste my current food supply on them. I have a decent amount of food. I want to keep it that way. So, um, make a clear snow area, just one tile outside of that. Well, 
Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Okay. And just around the uh, horseshoe pin. For their sake. And why not the electrical cables? And around the solar panel. Oh, come on. You guys have a, sol uh, a psychic suze right now. Why are you getting all mad? It's just a game. Why do you have to be mad? I just realized my microphone isn't even picking that much up right now. Okay, Fonzie, I already believe it belittled her enough. You don't have to do it too. You're such a shit. again. Come on. I know that's not how humans work, but this is a video game. Stop breaking. Did you guys get... Yeah, he got all the wood in. Uh, so Fonzie can go back to constructing. Who is my best researcher? He is. Um, so I could build two research desks. Or... I don't. I'm just gonna turn off all of these lights for now, because no one really needs them. Only in areas of uh, constant access and importance should have the power directed to them. And that's pretty much just this room and that room. Owen is idle. What can you do, Owen? Mm. Handle, cook, and hunt. Shield is taking that over the cooking part anyways. He is better. Um, so I guess you can focus on hunting. Which... I suppose I'm probably not going to be able to tame anything if there's anything left. Nope. Oh boy, there's a mega sloth over here. Yeah, let's not go after the mega sloth, but instead, you can spend all your time hunting all those shits. I don't know why I said that. I just did. It just kind of like came out, you know? And I was playing this the other night, and I was doing the Naked Brutality, and I had the worst time of it, because I sent my dude out to go get food, because he was going to starve to death. He went out to attack a squirrel, and bit him. Why oh, no. This was, well, I played multiple times. One time, my dude died to a squirrel. 
uh, when I was a rabbit bite that knocked him unconscious. Um, yeah, that one was sad. Then the next one, I played twice. The next one was, uh, there was a dead boar on the map. And, you know, I was already extremely low on food, or I had none at the time. And, I mean, free food. Sent him out in the middle of the night. It was cold. He got hypothermia, knocked out in the snow, and died. So, yeah. Careful with that kind of stuff. <laughs> Owen is not happy. I completely forgot the Capybara died. I suppose I am running low on steel, so it wouldn't hurt to get some more. Oh wow. A lot of uh, wildlife has shown up. Shame that the yaks are gone, but there are just so many uh, deer right here that, you know, she can just keep killing them and coming back. Honestly, she should probably just kill them all and then keep coming back because they're in the snow. They're going to, like, self-refrigerate pretty much. I'm going to have so much deer hide after this if uh, they don't run away. Let's see how she's doing. Oh shit, she's got pretty bad. Well, it's not that bad, but... I suppose, who's my best at crafting? Fonzie is. I have the uh, the steel, but I don't know if it's worth it. God damn it, I need to build another wind turbine or something. The research isn't getting done fast enough. Why don't you sleep in your own bed, dude? Oh man, you're gonna... Son of a bitch. Well, I don't need this. Well, actually, I do. Fuck, I just, I just don't have enough power. Protect power. I'm gonna have to build a wood fire generator. And I'm gonna have a Fonzie work on it. Right now. I know he's not happy, but uh, I need the ship built. So we can run it just when we're low on power. Or about to be. a ton of wood right now. So that should help. Power out 
puts a thousand. How much is the uh, discharging? Is five watts per? I'm confused. If you're gonna be in there, you might as well click the switch. I guess we're gonna have to up the uh, the heat. Probably should have started with a wood fire generator. Well, so far so good. Hopefully this video comes out good. I have no idea if it will or not. It seems like the audio is pretty quiet, but I don't want to, you know, raise the gain right now, because if I do, then I could be absolutely horrible. And Bill, make jacket do five times. Pants do five times. Patch leather, I guess, do forever. I don't know what's patch leather. I guess, yeah, make patch leather. Well, not right now. I'm going to build a copy of that stool over here. Honestly, don't need to put this much effort in here. So far, the my uh, prisoners would, that I don't even have would have it better than my actual uh, uh, colonists. So. colonists idle. Wow. I mean, it is in the dead of winter, so there isn't that much to do. And sending them outside would be a bad idea. Oh, and I need her to uh, start crafting. Oh, I know, I guess tailoring. Who's my best tailor? Fonzie. Oh, shit, why are you in there? You're supposed to be... There is research to be done, my guy. Why are you doing that? Oh my god, no wonder the research that is not getting done. Ah, uh, fucker. Does a 
designate power. Designate power, designate power. Okay. Now, there we go. Fonzie is working on clothes. And I think I'm going to end it there because I don't want to go too much farther. 30 minutes is usually when I call it quits. Um, at least I used to. I hope you found it enjoy. Uh, I hope you found it relaxing, enjoyable, entertaining to some extent. I don't know. It's probably been really quiet. But I hope you enjoyed it either way. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.